Hi everyone, um, I just thought I'd come and have a little chat with you all, um, just to see how you're all doing. Um, very different and difficult times for everybody at the moment. Um, so just really um, wanted to have a little chat about keeping busy, you know, what you can do, the different things that you can do, not just schoolwork. Um, but something to keep, you know, our minds busy. So, um, for those of you that can cook, you could have a go at some new recipes and, um, helping, you know, mum with the cooking. Um, you could do mindfulness colouring. You could even take up a new hobby, um, that could keep you busy. Um, but going back to school, um, reading is what you should all be, um, or try to keep up on. Um, I'll come back to it in a minute, but um, to keep myself busy, I've been doing a puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle, which um, you might say, oh, that's not, that's not too big and not too difficult. But if you don't have a picture to go with it, it, it can be quite tricky to do. But it's been keeping me busy along with... Um, some gardening um keeping the mind active and also obviously out of routine sometimes your sleep routine goes out of the window as well so trying to keep myself busy so that um i sleep better at night um we've talked a lot in school about resilience um what it means to be resilient and this is the time now that you really do need to be um practicing it you know um like i said it's a difficult situation um we're all learning even us adults we're all learning day by day the things we should and shouldn't do but one of the things we all need to do is to be kind to ourselves and to our families and listen to the advice um given uh due to these um you know unprecedented times and I'm sure that if we all take, you know, the right steps to keep ourselves safe, hopefully um, this will be over and we can all, you know, get back to normal. Um, when I said about reading earlier to keep ourselves busy, one of the um, books that I've read that, you know, it, it's quite a difficult book to read, but it's very interesting, is um, Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Um, it's an old book, it's an old story, uh, he wrote it in 1954 and um, it's a, about a group of boys that find themselves um, alone on a desert island and they develop um, rules and uh, systems for organisation but um, because there's no adults to keep an eye on things it gradually descends into chaos so there's a lot of themes in, in the book for you to explore and what it might be nice for you to do is, um, you know, assuming you're not already busy, is to maybe do a, a book review once you've read the book. There is also a very old film, I think it's black and white, to go with this. So maybe if you, um, you know, if you find the book difficult, I don't know if you will be able to get hold of the film, um, but it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good read and it's a, a good film to watch and it will keep you occupied for a little while. Um, I mean, along with lots of other books, there's a lot of other books that you can read out there and you could also do a book review, maybe aim it at um, someone of a similar age that's not read it to encourage them to read it. Um, I just want to say that, um, you know, wish you all well, um, take care and like I said, be kind, look after your friends and family and just follow all the advice given and um, I will speak to you soon. Bye bye.